Hello guys, it's been forever. Say we have just had a study session. Yes, and baby has a babysitter. So, so mommy can study. Yes. And we are in semester two of my MSN program. So this is my study desk. Look at my planner, guys. This is what we're going to talk about. So it's been forever since we've done one of these digital plan with me together. Um, one thing I want to say, though, is let me know in the comments if you guys like seeing the screen like this or if you prefer how people normally do it, which is like record their iPad on the desk as they're like planning their week and everything else personally I like seeing this um just because sometimes I don't know I make so many mistakes even with doing this like recording like I've had to like this is a good take actually so typically though I have to stop and record and stop and record because I kind of freeze up on what I want to do when I hit the record screen record button for some reason um but nevertheless I wanted to talk to you guys uh, about what I'm doing here. So this is my digital planner. Uh, I got it last year in 2023. There is a 2024 version, but I did not know that. And so I, what I did was it's undated. So I just um, copied it and pasted it as a new notebook and I'm using it for 2024. So this is what I have. Um, my planner is from DGP Designs, as is some of my sticker sticker books. I do have my own sticker book that I made last year. Um, some of my other graphics, um, I did not write down the stores I got them from on uh, Etsy, but I uh, got them from Etsy. So like this affirmation stickers, that was from a different store as well on Etsy. Um, so I just and they're not that expensive I caught them on sale for the most part but like typically you're thinking around if you get them on sale they're like a couple dollars or I think the most I've spent is like five dollars um, but I don't spend any more than that on digital stickers because yeah they're digital unless it's like artwork that I like a lot so um, so yeah, so this is my week. I'm planning my week. My planner, there is a monthly um, page and then there is the weekly and then there is also a daily planner. Um, and the daily has like the hourly breakdown and to do's and all that stuff. Last year I found doing the dailies, um, it was just a bit much like because I had to put together the monthly, put together the, the weekly, and then I felt like I had to put together the daily as well. And it's, it's just a bit much. I can't, I need simplicity in my life. Um, so I decided for the month of January, I was going to try out just weekly planning. And so far, um, it has worked. The only thing that I have found is that I don't have a lot of space to organize things in. Like, um like the box is kind of small so i have to like if i want to put a whole bunch of stuff on there i don't feel like i haven't i have to organize it a certain way i um i wish the boxes were a little bit bigger um so that's why for february i'm going to try um to do the daily planning um and then these stickers are really cool because I, I like these because they are color changing numbers um and i decided so if you've seen some of my shorts my weeks don't when I first started out my weeks didn't have the numbers um, the dates on them on each weekday I decided to do it this week because it helps me remember what the date is when I'm in my weekly planner uh, the weekly part of my planner and it also helps me um, keep track of everything like I know it's Tuesday but what day is Tuesday and what is due on the 23rd you know so and I don't have to go back to my calendar to look at that. So um, this is Good Note Six. I feel like I'm all over the place. Oh, so that's why I'm able to color match these like really well. Um, I also those where I have assignment and school to do, which I just zoomed in, so you can't see it at the moment. But um, those were like little 
boxes, colored boxes that I just cropped down and I resized them down and put in what I wanted to put in them. I like that a lot better because I'm mostly using my planner for school. Um, and then my, uh, my subjects I was able to put in, um, which once I zoom out you'll see what I'm talking about. I have like patho and research. I was able to take a screenshot of that and then add it as an element um, so I can just um, pretty much drag it from the element screen. Well, actually, I don't think I did a screenshot. I think I did add element and then I was so that way I'm able to just drag it from elements. I don't have to type it or go scroll up and copy and paste. And I do a lot of copy and paste um, from week to week. And that's one thing I like about like the digital planner is that I don't have to write everything all over again if I don't want to. Like, I can scroll up and copy and paste what I like or if, if I'm constantly doing that I can just add it as an element or screenshot it and then and you know pull it from there as well so uh, so yeah so that is what uh, my planner looked like before the week before which was really pretty I really like that one um, and so from there like I'm like I said I'm copy and pasting and dragging what I want to keep so um, and I'm like adding in what I know I have to do so So on the school plan to do, this is where I like basically put my checklist and I don't really give it a certain date even though there are set deadlines for when everything has to be done. But I, um, I put everything on the to-do list section um, and then as I complete it I check it off. And then I also will put a checklist like on the actual day. Um, I don't know why but it makes me feel good when I accomplish it. Um, and then I'll put like boxes where it says replies because each discussion board that I do has to have two replies so what I do is I just make like the boxes and then I just check it off and that way I can make sure I did each discussion board reply or response um, for both classes so it helps me, keeps me organized there um, and then I'll try to come up with a plan to like I'll say like for instance like Tuesday when the babysitter is here like um, my goal for that for when she's here would be like um, to work on my first post or to um, do all the reading or the listen to the presentations or um, I'll try to complete what I can um, and while she's here because while she's here is when like normally during my like peak time of when I'm like alert and ready to do things so this is my plan with me this is my week it's not completely finished um, but um, I just wanted to like show you guys how I plan my week with while I'm in school um, and the good thing about digital planning is that I can access this planner on my phone on my iMac on my laptop and on my iPad yes I have all Apple products and but it's it's for that reason because I can easily access like everything you know is everything is connected so um, so yeah so that's one of the reasons why I like this digital planner but it's also just easy to put together um, each week and also keep going back to it and be like let me check my list or you know no matter where I'm at so I, I like that I don't have to carry around like a physical planner um, probably one day I might miss my physical planner and want to actually write and use my stickers again but for right now while I'm in school this works out pretty good um, I also I think I don't know if I said it before but I like the fact that I can add in pictures um, I can see things that I um, found on like 
like Pinterest or the internet and then also import it into my planner in some way if I wanted to. So yeah, it's a lot to do. So yeah.